Mr. Kevin Paradi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Kevin, thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time. We are ready and good to go. So I think let's talk about stretches and warm-ups that can help you. Yeah. Um, about warm-up, um, well, we all know that we have to start at a pretty slow tempo and it's important not to go with very big movement with your motion. Like, uh, let's say you play only with your wrist and you try to warm up, you're not going to make that kind of motion straight away. Let's see you're going to begin like something way way easier for for your body and i do quite i do the same when i want to warm up you know uh, even with uh, with the push pull motion i'm not going like 260 and i don't try to open my hand as much as possible before to close my fingers and with the more strength let's see an so example of that yeah it, it's it's really like i'm going to be for a while and then i feel that i feel a bit warmer i feel less friction so i go And with the push-pull, I begin more like this. Before to go. It's really like two different motion. When I try to warm up, it's just the minimum that I'm doing to get the motion done. And after a while, I really try to open my hand and to close it with some power, more like this. And because I'm using a lot of my fingers, I do try to stretch my fingers before uh, I play. And I, I don't do a lot of warm up, but I stretch more. Uh, and this is helping me also to push more when I want to play exercises. And this allowed me to play more without hurting myself. And I have less muscle fatigue if I stretch before to play. To make like a real warm up on practice pad really slowly, can help me a, a little bit, but stretches are be better for me. And I think I've shown uh, in another live session or maybe mm. in one of my videos what I want, what I am doing with my finger. But it's it's basically I just move them so the thumb with another finger, so just like this, and mm -hmm. I just try to feel that these fingers are moving fluently, and yeah, I try to stretch them like this. And it's definitely going to put also some a kind of a warm feeling in my forearm. I can definitely feel all my tendons moving. And yeah, I'm doing this with all my fingers and it's helping me. But I'm also doing some kind of stuff with the drumstick. I hold it, uh, first of all, uh, just like that. So I press it uh, with my thumb against the rest of the hand. And then I make the drumstick move just with uh, every fingers one by one. And this is really helping me before to go behind the drum kit to be warmed up. And so I do the same thing like this now. So I'm using the index finger and the thumb and then I make the drumstick move again using all my fingers one by one. And this is really helping me. I play a little bit in the air like this very slowly and uh, then that's it. I'm, I can push a little bit behind the drum kit already, but uh, with my hands, without this kind of stretching, if I go straight away behind the drum kit, I'm going to have some pain. When, when you are playing behind your drum kit, if you don't want to bend forward, backward, and you, front, you want to stay with a very good body balance, you really need all these muscles to be warmed up and you know, strong enough because it's a lot of power that you put through the pedals or moving uh, around the drum kit. And if you want to avoid uh, back pain too, this is extremely helpful. I had a lot of back pain or a pain in my uh, neck and around the scapulas and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And this um, exercise helped me a lot to get rid of everything. Okay. All right, let's get it on. Uh, let's say this is my warm up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's a joke because if you warm up like this, it's not. Okay. <laughs> 